In the virtually impenetrable wilderness of Central African Republic, members of a 3,000-strong African Union force search for the remaining members of the Lord's Resistance Army, the LRA. The United Nations says the LRA is responsible for over 100,000 deaths since its founding in the 1980s. But UN officials say the regional offensive is gaining ground. Military operations have degraded the LRA and limited it to pursuing survival tactics. However, recent attacks in South Sudan attributed to the LRA are a reminder that the group remains a serious and unpredictable threat. A 2012 viral video campaign made the group's rebel leader, Joseph Kony, notorious. He originally founded the group as a rebellion against Uganda's government. He now stands accused of mass murder, rape, and the abduction of thousands of children to be used as sex slaves and soldiers. Surely, Joseph Kony is on the run. We give him no reprieve. Uh, he's, uh, been moving effectively, as uh, uh, Ambassador Abu Musa said, between uh, uh, the borders of Darfur, or Darfur itself, and Central African Republic. In the Central African Republic, or CAR, the rebel government that seized power earlier this year temporarily banned foreign troops. Though AU soldiers have been readmitted, regional instability has diplomats worried. La LRA. We must now ensure that the LRA does not uh, benefit from a security vacuum in the CAR to prosper. Each of the countries actually in which they operate face other even more immediate threats to the authority of those states um, uh, to even uh, exist. Michael Poffenberger founded the Resolve LRA Crisis Initiative. Its online tracking tool monitors LRA activity across the region. Progress has been excruciatingly slow. Um, but continues to move forward. Um, LRA attacks on civilians are down, and there is an indication that Kony, uh, the LRA leader, has actually shifted strategy to no longer commit the large-scale massacres and abductions that are historically what the LRA is known for. Security Council members agree Joseph Kony is on the run, but when asked where Kony is, AU and UN officials say they just don't know. Stephen Fee, CCTV, New York.